Uh, glad we've been able to come around and, and, and be more of a partner to you on some of these things as we move forward. Uh, I think you, if there's anything, uh, there's lots of things positive I think that have come from this little dialogue, both in terms of our getting knowledge and perhaps the community getting knowledge. Uh, and so I think that's, that's all very positive for everybody. And if there's anything that's come out of this whole thing, you certainly have the most famous little library <laughs> in town at this point. So uh, I'm sure people have been driving by and, and looking at what you're doing. You know, as part of our exploration on, on little libraries, when this phenomena started to come around, we were in touch with the national organization. Uh, a guy named Bull, I think is his name. Yes. And uh, they have a quite elaborate uh, details on their website on how to work with these things and work, uh, and work through these things. So uh, we've kind of built on that. And I think as a result of this, we have a website now, don't we, Mickey and Diane? Uh, and you can go on that. It's lincoln.ne.gov. Love little libraries, yeah. So there'll be some guidance for other folks in town that they can get in a number of ways now. I think that uh, the only other couple of things I wanted to mention was that uh, apparently the national organization has given us one of these little little library kits, uh, a whole system for setting up a little library. And I understand there's another church at 11th and Garfield, or someplace? Another one of or, ours, yep. Another one of your churches? Yep. Okay. Tower United Methodist. All right. And I don't know if you can use that kit, but we'd... I think we probably could. Could you? <laughs> I think then so. It's, yeah. Then it's We've yours. So We've it is so yours. We've had so much fun with this. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> we put it on next to the street. We know where there. not to put it to start yeah. with. <laughs> you don't even need a list of instructions anymore, do you? You have had way too many instructions already, I'm sure. But uh, hopefully you can uh, make use of that. And uh, we've added one little book to your library that will be on its way just as soon as Ella's done with it, right? Maybe, maybe could, could we get a picture of you and Ella and the book community? Oh, absolutely. Well, come on, Ella, bring the book over here and, uh, and we'll uh, take a little picture, huh? All right, shall we hold it up so you can see what it is, that it's Ted Couser's book? Yeah. You know, it's about a house that a young girl used to live in, and then over a long period of time, she grew up and moved away from the house, and then the father had to move away from the house, and there was nobody to take care of the house. And so the trees started growing up around the house, and pretty soon the trees lifted the house and it became a tree house. <laughs> Are you impressed? Kinda. Kinda. All right, picture's done. Well, thank you all very much thank for you. allowing me to come. Uh, because this really is the Neighborhood Association's uh, work, we offered just to host the, the little library. And uh, we believe in education, and we wanted to make sure that the whole community felt that this was their little library, not just the church's little library, which is why it's on the edge of the property, which is why it started out over there. <laughs> but <laughs> we wanted to make sure that everyone knew that all are welcome, and, and we believe in strong neighborhoods, strong community, and we are excited that we are, in fact, one of the best known little libraries in the country, not just in Lincoln right now. So um, I, I have just been delighted with the uh, civil conversation that was able to take place. So much of what we seem to have lost in our society is the ability to actually talk with one another. And I am so pleased that the City of Lincoln and the Neighborhood Association and the church were able to have good conversation, along with a number of people who have called us, who've written us, and who offered us money and a variety of other things to help us out as we worked through this. 
Um, it was uh, kind of a surprising conversation, especially in the middle of the summer. Who knew this <laughs> summer that that's what we'd be doing? So thank you, thank you very much, Barb, and everybody on the on the little neighbor on the neighborhood association, and George who built this wonderful little library, and the people of the church who are going to be adding benches so that it's truly hospitable. And we hope that everybody feels free to stop by and check out a book. So thank you. Thank you, Amy. Barb. Barb. I think you are right. dead. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I wrote this for our president, who is not here. Um, okay. I've got a famous saying from a favorite author of mine some 10 years ago, uh, Dr. Seuss. The more you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you will go. So I hope the kids enjoy the books in here and remember where it came from and pass it along to little children after them. A little free library. The idea is simple. Leave a book, take a book. We are promoting literacy and the love of reading by promoting free book exchanges in our neighborhood, in our city, and worldwide. In five short years, following the lead started by Andrew Carnegie in his quest for 2,500 free public libraries around the turn of the 19th to the 20th century, the United States has reached and passed this ambitious goal to install little free libraries around the country. I think there's upwards of uh, 2,600, 2,700 now. Indian Village and its neighborhood welcomes our very own little free library on this day, August 6, 2014. And we want to thank you all for coming and dedicating um, our little free library. Yay! I'd like to comment and thank the city staffers that when I called had information had time to help help us get all of the kinks ironed out. It was it was not difficult, a little laborious at times. Thanks to Barb, who got everything physically done. I don't see any blisters. <laughs> and thank you all for coming out, Mr. Mayor, Pastor Jamie, Barb. Anyone, does anyone have anything you'd like to say? Take a book before you leave. Please enjoy. <laughs> thank you all again very, very much. Thank you.